Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study about the features of an ARM processor. First, we will study that what is an ARM processor and then we will see some of the features of the ARM processor. So let us start with our topic. So let us first understand that what is an ARM processor. An ARM processor is one of the family of CPU which is based on the RISC architecture. The CPU present in the computers, it is, uh, it is based on two types of architecture. The CPU can have two types of architecture, RISC architecture and CISC architecture. The full form of RISC is Reduce Instruction Set Computer. And the full form of CISC is Complex Instruction Set Computer. In the RISC architecture, the number of instructions involved is less. And the instructions are also very simple instructions. Whereas in the complex instruction set computers, there are more number of instructions. And these instructions are also very complex. Okay, so the ARM processor, they are the family of CPUs which uses the RISC architecture. Okay, so we can define the ARM processor as is one of a family of CPUs based on the RISC architecture. Now this ARM processor, it is developed by Advanced Risk Machine. This corporation was first of all called the Econ, the Econ Risk Machines. Okay, and after that, it was renamed as the Advanced Risk Machine. So A is for the Advanced, R is for the Risk, and M is for the Machine. That is why it is called the ARM processor. Okay, so this ARM processor is developed by the advanced RISC machine and it is based on the RISC architecture. Now this advanced RISC machine, it is a company and this company develops 32 bit and 64 bit So the processors which are doing the processing in the uh, computers, okay. So they develop the multi-core processors which are using the 32-bit or 64-bit of data, okay. And based on the RISC architecture. So this ARM company, it makes 32-bit and 64-RISC multi-core processors. These processors are designed to perform a small number of instructions as I have said that RISC full form is reduced instruction set computer. So these RISC processors they have smaller computer instructions
and if in the computer the instructions are small so they will be executed when these instructions small instructions will be executed then it will require very less time so small computer instructions provide high speed to the processors and due to the high speed they can perform millions of instructions per second okay so that is a characteristic of the risk processors that due to the presence of smaller computer instructions they take very less time to execute these instructions their speed is very high and because their speed is very high so they can execute millions of instructions per second which is also called mips okay now if we talk about the applications of the arm processor then these processors are extensively used in consumer electronic devices okay an example of these consumer electronic devices are smartphones tablets multimedia players and other mobile devices such as wearables so smartphones tablets multimedia players etc the mobile devices they are the examples of the arm processors now due to the reduced instructions okay because they are based on the risk architecture so the number of instructions will be less so due to the less number of instructions they will require less transistors okay less instructions it means they are having smaller instruction set instruction set includes all the instruction of the processor so if there are less number of instructions then the instruction set will be small and due to the smaller instruction set they will require less number of transistors and as there are less number of transistors so the size of the ic is also reduced okay so that also provides the arm processor one feature which is the less size or reduced size of the processors so these arm processors they not only have the high speed but they are also very small in their size so one feature was high speed another feature was a smaller size now as the size is a small the power consumption will be less okay so small size means less number of components so less power consumption also if the instructions are less so their complexity is also reduced so smaller size less power consumption reduced complexity and high speed these are the features of the arm processor now these features they make the arm processor suitable for miniature devices means those devices which are very small in size okay because nowadays we see that the mobile phone size is also decreasing and also smaller and smaller in size mobile phones they can do great applications okay also the smartphones the tablets all the sizes are reducing okay so if we want to use uh, because of the smaller size in the arm processor and this is small size is providing us a very high speed so that feature makes the arm processor suitable for the increasingly miniature devices so that is an application of the arm processor 
So these were some basic features of the ARM processor. Now let us see some of the main features of the ARM processor which are being inherited by it by the RISC processors. Okay. The first feature is the load store architecture. The ARM processors, just like the RISC processors, they also have the feature of having the load store architecture. By the load store architecture, we mean that the ALU instructions, ALU means that the arithmetic and the logical instructions in the processor, they are not going to access the memory, okay? So ALU instructions, cannot access memory so with the memory we cannot do the arithmetic and logical instructions and operations like addition subtraction logical and logical or all these operations cannot be performed on the memory if we want to perform these instructions then they can operate only on registers so registers are present in the processor. So on those registers only the ALU instructions can be operated. Now, if we want any data transfer, because suppose the data on which we want to perform the ALU instructions, if that data is present in the memory, so we have to transfer that data from memory into the registers, then only the ALU operations can be performed. So the data transfer between memory and the processor is possible only by the load and the store instructions. That is why this type of architecture is called load and store architecture. Because in this architecture, ALU instructions, they cannot access the memory. They can operate only on the registers. So if we want to uh, get a data transferred from the memory into the registers of the processor, then we have to use the load and store instructions. Now load instruction, What the load instruction does, it loads the data from the memory into the processor. And in the processor, we are having the registers. So the data will be loaded into the register. So if we want to move a data from memory to processor, we will use the load instruction. Now, after the data has been come into the register, we can perform the ALU instructions. Now, after the ALU instructions are being performed, there will be some result. Okay, so that result, if we want to store that result in again into the memory, then we will use the store instruction. This instruction stores the data in memory from the processor. So in this way, the memory can be accessed. We cannot directly access the memory. We have to first shift the data from memory into the register and the result is then shifted from the register into the memory. So load and store instructions are used and with the help of these instru uh, instructions, we can perform the arithmetic and logical operations. Okay, so that is the first and the main feature of the ARM processors. Second feature is fixed length 32-bit instruction. So the instructions in the ARM processor, the length of those instruction is 32-bit, okay? 
all the instructions are 32 bit in length. Now this fixed length because we have said that it is the fixed length 32 bit instructions. So this fixed length it makes the compiler or it makes the design of the control unit simpler. Because the control unit is knowing that the length, every instruction will be of length 32 bit. So this length is being fixed. Now if length is fixed, so the control unit design will be simpler. Okay. Also this fixed length, it is going to make the hardwired control unit. This fixed length it makes it possible to use the hardwired control unit and this makes the control unit faster. So both the design of the control unit becomes simpler and also it becomes faster in its operation. Next feature is three address instruction formats three address instruction format it is also known as the three operand instruction format in the whenever we write the instructions in the arm processor so those instructions will consist of three operands okay operands are those on which the operation is to be performed on whatever data we have to perform the operation that will be called the operand so in the uh, arm processor instructions we will have three operands so it is also called the three operand instructions. Out of these three operands, the two operands are the source of and one is the destination operand. Let's take an example. We are having the add instruction. For add, we will write add. So here add, then d, and then s1, s2. So s1, s2 are the source operands, and d is the destination operand. So what this instruction is going to do, it is going to add the two sources that is S1 plus S2 and the result of this addition will be stored at the destination. Okay. So this above instruction that is addition, it will add the S1 and S2 and store the result in the destination. So all the instructions in the uh, RIS in this ARM processor, they are the three operands instructions. There will be three operands, two source operands and one destination operand. So if we write the instruction format, instruction format means the pattern in which the instruction is written. So it will be first the function to be performed like in the above example addition is to be performed then operand one address is there then operand two address is there and then the destination address so that is why it is called the three address instruction format okay function that like addition subtraction whatever operation is has to perform then addresses of the two operands and then address of the destination now another feature of the arm processor is the simplicity
Now since the ARM processor, its hardware is simple. Also, it has a strong instruction set. So due to these two features, it makes the ARM processor having a better code density as compared to the other RISC processor. The ARM processors, they have the better code density because the hardware is simple and they have a very strong instruction set okay so these are some of the features of the arm processor we have seen first of all we have seen that what is an arm processor it is one of a family of cpu which is based on the risk architecture then we saw some features basic features like if they have very high speed they have very small uh, instructions present in them their complexity is reduced and size is small they have low power consumption after that we saw some of the features which are common in the risk and the arm processors like first was the load and store architecture then the fixed length of 32 bit instructions then the three address instruction format and in the last simplicity so in this video we studied the features of arm processor and i hope that this topic is now clear to you thank you